All right, all right, all right. Hey, Axe Hafters. Axe Refurbishers, Axe Restorers, Axe Hafters, Aft Hangers. Anybody out there fixing tools or, or, or restoring wooden handled tools. I want to share a little something right now that if you've done any amount of axe hanging or anything, you may have run into this, this problem. And you know what, friends? I don't think a lot of people speak about it. I don't. Because I just think they don't want to. They want to just sweep it under the rug. I myself thought, well, I'm going to have to figure a solution for this. There is only one solution if you want to do it right. I've used so many different axe handles, friends, over, over this, say, four years, or many years, but I mean, doing it in, in, in a production-type sense. Uh, many, many different axe handles. And I'll tell you quite honestly, and I'm going to show you something right now. I'm actually going to do this. It's Saturday afternoon. Everybody's out doing something. My kids are my boys fishing with his buddies. My wife and Rita are at a twin one-year birthday. And I'm in the freaking axe shack in the bunker doing video for YouTube. And I'm going to share something with you. Because I'm building an axe right now. And I ran into this issue. And the handle's wicked. Nothing to do with really the handle. It's a combination once, once in a while when you run into um, the right thin eye with the proper handle. I'm just going to show you and, and tell me if you understand in the comments. Tell me if you've ever run into this. I call it bounce back. I think you know what I'm talking about, but I want to show you something. And I want to show you how, in my opinion, is the only way to fix it correctly. Okay? Not the only way, but is one way of fixing it correctly. Okay? But what I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you something here. And it's going to make sense to you. It's going to make sense. I know it's going to make sense because you're smart people. This is wonderful. This is a wonderful, wonderful example. I love these. Remember these? Friends, do you remember when I was getting them handles at Home Freaking Hardware, the VB Swinger? I'm telling you something right now. Just hang on. Hang freaking on. I'm going to show you something. Okay? Quiet down over there. Friends. Do you recognize this? You, you recognize that thing? Yeah. It, it's probably because you see it in every single one of my freaking fallen videos I'm doing, okay? Friends, a good handle's a good handle. I don't care where you get it. You know who's been giving me good handles? Really nice handles? It's Beaver Tooth Handle Company. Really, really nice. I've gotten good handle handles at the freaking corner store, at the Bucker Fields, at the, at the, the, the rental. The, you just got to go through them, friends. You got to go through them. But one thing I want to share, and I don't think it's been covered, and, and it's time I did it because I've been thinking about it and I've run into it a few times. You've actually probably heard me talk about it. But today we're going to go over it. Okay? Now, so my point is, this is a VB Swinger handle. Happens to have straight up and great uh, uh, down grain, which is, which is nice, great. Solid as a freaking rock, this thing. I've clobbered it and clobbered it and clobbered it. I've maxed out on my wedges many times and bounced off. That's hard on an axe handle and a fit. It just is. Uh, this is a wicked handle. Wicked. Okay? Well, here it is. This is it. And I'm going to show you something, friends. This is important. I, I want you to, to, to think, guys who are women, children, whoever's making axes, hear me out on this one. It's going to help. Trust me, it is. It'll help in the end, especially if you're selling them. Especially if you're selling them to people. Because uh, I, I'm just going to show it to you. And I'm, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the transition, okay, of your shoulder. Okay? There's handles out there that they come down, okay? The head comes down and it stops. I call it a shelf. It hits a shelf. And what happens is the shoulder goes like this and it goes flap. And I'm actually going to go over to the chalkboard and show you what I'm talking about in a minute. We'll go draw some stuff. But I'm not done ex explaining this. I want to show something. Okay? Now, I got my, I got my axis here. And I want, to, I, want to, I want to explain something to you, okay? Here's a, here's a beaver tooth handle. Freaking wicked. Excellent. Like everything is just slick. Straight as a, an arrow. Straight up and down grain. 
uh, really nice, uh, nicely formed eye. Uh, it's wonderful, wonderful, okay? Um, one thing I find with a handle with this style, this is a great handle, and this is not extreme at all. It's just all I have here right now to explain this to you with, okay? Now, because I've seated, I've used these handles and they're wonderful. Better with a wider eye, I find, on some stuff. It's thin and then it, it, it transitions, friends. It transitions, okay? And I'm gonna do this as best I can for you. See this transition here from, from right here? It's called the shoulder, friends, the shoulder transition. Okay, from here to here. This transition. Well, what happens when you're doing your fitmanship on an ax, you're doing it to this, right? To this and to this. You're not, you're not doing it to the shoulder. You're fitting it for here. See? So we're, we're fat there still, but, but this, isn't, this isn't the handle I'm using. I'm just showing you this for, for, for an example. Okay, see, it's quite a, it, so, so it changes. And this is not extreme. I've seen way more that just crank right out. Well, the ax stops. It stops. It can't go and squeak down. Did you enjoy that? I might even slow mo that. I kind of like that. Like a transformer. Okay, so you get what I'm saying. I know you do. I know you do. Now, let's take this off because we're not using this. Now, I just was, I was making an axe for a man named Jack. Jacko. Where's that little thing? I already made him. This is nice, friends. I showed it on Instagram, and I don't know if I've showed it on YouTube yet, but he sent me his couple axe heads a while back, and here they are. Look at this little thing, friends. I got lots of these little buggers. But this was special to Jack. He's been smacking this around and running through the bushes with this thing for 20, 25 years, he told me. That's, that's special to a dude. You know, Jack's a great guy. tree climber guy, axe man, woodsman. You know what I mean? He's an older fella. He's older than me anyway. He's not old by any means, but he's older than myself. And I got respect for people that are older than me that still do this thing. I just do. Now, Jack, buddy, this is special. It is. Get the gullet, genuine bucking. It just really suited this handle. So, so this is Jack's. Nice transition on this one. That went on really nice. Okay, my point being, friends, I know I'm kind of going off, but listen, I want to explain something to you. And I'm going to show it to you. The reason I love the VB Swinger handles is because the transition is really, really gradual, which allows the head basically to go squeak, 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 and squeak, and dig into wood, okay? Not just shelf out and go boing, and then when you hit it, and you go to haft it, and it freaking bounces back. That happened to me just here, today with this. And it's beaver tooth handle, and again, it's not the handle. I love beaver tooth handles. I'm explaining something here. I'm gonna explain how to get rid of that. I don't care how you do it, you use your sander, use your Dremel, use your something or other, get on the shoulder. Get it down. Make it gradually change here, okay? Make it change a bit, because you won't get rid, you can see this, I've, I've played around with a couple of heads, and it, it clobbers the wood and stays there. It won't go any further, friends. It, it won't go any further. Therefore, it will bounce back. Correct? Yes, of course. Now, I had Jack's handle complete. It's a freaking beautiful beaver tooth handle. It's deadly, friends, okay? But I want to show you what I did. Um, I, I wasn't happy with the head went on beautiful. And to put the head on and go, oh, wow, that looks deadly. Oh, that's looking good. I like it. That was an easy one. No, it was not. And I'll tell you why because I hung it upside down and I always give mine, a, I'm that guy, I do that. I do some of this, I do a combination of this, I hold my head and I squeak it down, I do that, but I finish up with one good crack, that's it, maybe two. But on my first one, friends, I bounced back and I didn't like it, I don't like it at all. That's happened to me before and I've been able to push the head down like when I, and hold the head down, and then when I put my wedge in, I actually, you've seen me do it, friends, I know you have. I hold the head, and I smack that wedge in until it hits hard, and then it's splayed out, and it's pushing it down, and it's good. They're good, it's golden, but you have gotta hammer that wedge in there and throw steel at it after you're done, right? Now, 
Look at this. Same handle. This is the same handle. I think I'll hang them upside down for you, friends. It might be easier for me. I want you to look at this. Can you, can you see what went on, friends? Maybe that's not such a good example. Let's, let's move you out here and upside down doesn't make any sense. Let's just do this like this. Look, you're, you're gonna see what's, what's happened. Okay, you can totally see it now. Oh, sure you can. Okay, you see what I've done? Look. There. I've tapered the shoulder, friends. I've literally tapered. So I've come down to about here, okay, right there, and I've chamfered that down. I've taken meat out of here, tailored it down. I actually used my sander, friends, and, and, a, and a, a, a spoke shave, a little bit of spoke and sanding and finished it up. But I'm telling you right now, see it there? It's a slow, gradual thing. It was jumping on me and I didn't like it. Okay, friends? So if you want, if that's happening to you, if that's happening to you, and, and Beaver 2's handles are, are awesome. I know lots of the community's getting them. They're just great. He's a great guy and he gives good service and nice handles. I've, I haven't had a bad handle, friends. I haven't. But this is the one little thing and it hasn't happened every time. It's just happening with this head and it's a great head. It's actually a man head. Uh, it's called True American. And it, it is, a, it's, it's a man. Yeah, it is this man, Lewistown, PA. It's a freaking beautiful head, friends. It's Jax, okay? And it's a dandy, friends. It really is a nice, nice head. It's gorgeous. Look at that, friends. True American. Yep, True American. It's beautiful, actually. It's in really, really good shape. Now, so, but the eye's beautiful. Look at it, friends. It is really, it's a mint head, okay? So, now, I'll tell you honestly, I, I may as well just keep you on here because, or maybe I'll, maybe I'll turn you off and come back. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna burn, I'm gonna burn my handle again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it so it's, it's better because it bounced and I didn't like it. But what we can do is we can do a dry run. We'll do it right freaking now. Yes, we will. Okay? So here it goes. Watch. <laughs> yes, of course. It's much better. It, it's already gone down. Now, it's seated, friends. So, but what I do always... Like that. Now. Amazing. Amazing. So, to me, the shoulder's got to go. We're getting there. Look at. See? Can you, can you, can you actually see that? There's... I think it may have, no, actually it didn't. I'm not sure if that did or not, which is a good thing because it sure did before. It really did, friends, it hopped. So I just wanted to share that information. Like if you're, because what'll happen, friends, what'll happen if your ax head goes down, okay, and stops, just literally stops, you're kind of, you're at the mercy of that wedgemanship now up top, big time. And that's fine. That's fine. But it's got to be good. It's got to be really good. And you want to splay that wood out and try and stay proud because that'll push that head down, right? By doing that. So really take your time in that, friends, when you're doing that. Uh, actually, this thing's ready to go. Uh, it, it didn't. It, it, it probably bounced a teeny bit, but way less than it did. Let's look at something, friends. Let's look at something. Yeah. See, I've, got, I, I've actually gone down lower, which is beautiful. Yeah, see, look, friends. Look. We're, we're cracking wood. I mean, look. You see? It's, it's almost stopping, and that's fine. But I will tell you something. I will tell you something right now. Look at this on this handle. This is a different handle. There's no, there's no stop at all. Look at it. Nothing. Don't know where that came from, actually. But, friends.
Friends, <laughs> I'm telling you, look at, look at this. There's hardly any transition whatsoever there. Look at it. It literally just, almost just a teeny little angle. So what I'm saying to you, let's come back over here, friends. You don't be afraid. Yeah, look, look at friends. Look how long these are too, which is, which is a good help too. Look at, do you see the difference friends? In this gradual little taper right there, Beaver tooths aren't bad. It's just all I've got to compare with and I just ran into this. So I'm not knocking Beaver tooth. Don't get me wrong on that one. I love his freaking handles. I'm ordering more as we speak actually. So, so, but it bounced back and I didn't like it. I don't like bounce back. I don't like it at all. It happens, it happens. But if that happens to you, be sure, be sure when you seat that wedge in that you've got your kerf and everything set up and that wedge is nice and narrow and it's gonna go down and hopefully seat itself down there. Right, friends? You know what I'm talking about, I know you do. So, so I'm, I'm really happy with this now. There's curl everywhere, everywhere actually, all the way around, oh, all the way around actually. So, so I may, I may seat this head now. I may actually burn it and seat it now. You can see it there, eh, friends? I just, I like to share this information because I know there's a lot of people out there making axes. I know there is. It's awesome, friends. It's deadly. So, so actually, I, I might do just a touch more. I might do it one more time right here. See this here? I, I may just take that so that it kind of goes and sits. Now it goes bing bong and bounces back. Does that make sense, friends? I think it does. Good, okay. Uh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it one more time. I'll talk to you guys later. Have an awesome day. It's Saturday, have a great weekend. Enjoy it, be with your families. Friends, be kind. Be kind out there. There's people out there that are in little need of help here and there. I see me, me, and, uh, me and my boy, this was funny. I, I just wanna share this. <laughs> me and my boy were coming from a job yesterday and a guy come out of the bush at a red light. He came out of the bush with one of those cardboard signs, hard times, you know, big beard on him. But he was the nicest guy. He was the nicest guy. He was a little bit older. He might've been in his fifties, but he was, I don't know, I, I, I pick up people's energy, you know what I mean? And I, you know, and he just, there was something about him. There was something about him. So we give him a little something, eh? But, you know, I asked him, I said, where are you living? Are you living in the bush right there? I says to him, he goes, well, I was. He says, I was living in the bush, but I, I, I got invited inside, he said. And he was grateful. And, and you know what? We give him a little something and off he went. And he looked at the door and he said, Buck and Billy Ray's, tree service. I said, do you go on the tube? Do you go on the YouTube? I said to him and he goes, well, over at the mall, there's free internet. Sometimes I can go on there. I said, go on. Cause I'm going to say hi to you. I don't know your name, buddy. I don't know your name, but you're a gracious man, whether you're homeless or you're not, or whatever your situation is, buddy, you're a nice fella. And that's why we helped you out. You were gracious and you were grateful. So if you ever watch this video, like you said, you were going to pop in, you, you, you just, you keep striving, buddy. You keep striving. You're a nice fella. Okay, so I just want to say hi to that fella. I hope you run into the video one time. Okay, friends, I'm going to do a touch more. And uh, Jack, you can be assured, my friend, you're getting a wicked fit. Over and out, friends. Be kind today.